Okay, here's your quick tip. Um, it, this is a really, really lightweight and easy way to paint on canvas out in location. Some of us don't like carrying the boards. We don't like the way the board feels when we're painting. We prefer painting on canvas itself. But we know how cumbersome stretch canvases can be if we try to lug them out on location. Uh, I think I have a little easy way here to solve that and a quick way for uh, getting yourself set up. First of all, buy yourself a roll of canvas. This is a roll of uh, Frederick's Style 70. Um, you can get um, large rolls, shorter rolls, and you have a lot of paintings in here. Then you want to cut yourself squares of canvas uh, like this. You can quite, uh, cut a whole stack of these and have them ready to go. I like to mark mine like uh, this. I like to measure off where the actual painting is going to go here <clears throat> and give myself enough space here so that I could put this on stretcher bars if I, if I wanted to, if the painting is successful. I want to put it on stretcher bars, I can do that. This is a stretcher bar and you can see here I've given myself enough room to go around the stretcher bar and still have room here for the canvas pliers. So that gives us um, that gives us the canvas. Let's look at how we mount it. And this is this is co this is cool. This is really really cool. So this is uh, this is just quarter inch foam, foam core, very sturdy, very lightweight. And I have covered it. This is glassine, by the way, which is uh, very handy for keeping it nice and clean for the way I treated it. I have covered it with restickable glue. And you can get these glue sticks. This is restickable glue. It, it works just like uh, um, those little stick it notes, you know. So this is the Scotch restickable glue. And there's also uh, one called a post-it glue. They're the same thing. And, and so you, what you do is just um, simply take their foam core or any board, in fact, and just coat it like this with that with this uh, glue and and it stays there just like um, post-it notes it doesn't dry up and it doesn't come off on the backs of things that you stick to it and, and so you can keep it clean then by using this uh, glassine when you're not using it so what I do is take my canvas sheet simply lay it over the board and the restickable glue adheres to it and now I have this wonderful nice surface didn't take long at all and, um, and I'm ready to go now if I wanted a border here where I have uh, the, the, the indication for where the painting is going to go if I want a border I can add this tape I don't need tape this is going to stay put it's going to stay put while I'm painting and then um, and let me say this, then I'll pull it off. You see there's no glue on the back of it at all. So it's a wonderful little system. Um, and just, just another little thing in that is that if I do want a nice border just to show the piece once it's finished, I can take um, any kind of tape. This is artist tape. Simply put it on there. Once the painting is finished, I can rip that right off and I have a nice clean edge for the painting. So there's your quick tip.